guys, Miley Pacheco here, founder of Be Glammed and professional makeup artist. And today I'm hanging out with Good Jane's Beauty to try on their Glam Look Lash Collection made of 100% mink for lashes. As you may know, I love my lashes. They also have this awesome mirror for me to easily put on my lashes called Kiss My Lash Mirror. Can't wait to try it on and show you guys. All right, first things first, we need to remove the lashes from the case. So what I like to do is put a little bit of pressure on the lash and the thumb is the best finger to use because it has that natural curve. With the lash it also has a natural curve. So I like to just put a little bit of pressure down and start to remove the lash and pull away from the case. You can see there are these beautiful natural mink lashes um, from natural shedding from the animal. What I like to do is hold the lash nice and firm. Some people use tweezers, it's easier for me to just use my fingers. The great thing about these lashes is there is no right or left lash, they're actually perfectly symmetrical. So you can use the lash on either the right or the left. So I'm gonna hold the lash firmly in my hand and I'm gonna lay it on top of my natural lash to allow me to see how much of the lash I need to trim off on the side. So I'll get nice and close in this amazing triangulated mirror so I can see up and down. And it looks like I'm gonna to need to trim off a nice little section so it fits my eye perfectly. So you always wanna start with trimming the inner corner, just that extra band off. And my eyes are small, so I'm gonna actually need to trim about this much off the lash. And here we go. Now that I've trimmed my lashes, I just want to measure them to my eye one more time before I add the glue to make sure they're the right length and they look good to me. I like to use a mascara spoolie and a dot of glue on the end of the spoolie. And I start at one end of the lash and I just like to put a really, really light layer of glue directly on the band so you're getting an equal amount of glue all the way around. If you're using a waterproof or water resistant glue like I am, it's a black glue, this will actually start to darken as it oxidizes. So once it gets darker, that's when you'll kind of know it's ready to be put on. So you wanna let the glue dry a bit and get tacky before you actually put the lash on your eye. The band has a natural curl to it so when you straighten it out, it'll actually give you more control when you're putting the lash on your eye. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at myself in the mirror right in the center, and I'm gonna lay the lash in the middle of my eye so that it's, it's there. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck the corners onto my lash line. So I'm gonna actually now look down in the mirror so that I have more visibility. I'm gonna grab the outer corner and I'm going to apply the lash right to the end of my lash line there. Oh my gosh, it's so easy to use with this mirror, I love it. And then I'm gonna grab the inner corner and I'm gonna tuck that right in there and boom. I'm gonna check up top. Oh, see, up top lets me see that I did not connect it all the way. Got it. OMG, I love these lashes. They look so natural and amazing. And this mirror made it so easy to apply the lashes. I'm in love, I love these. I know our Be Glam clients and makeup artists are gonna love this too.